Hello, this is Shiri from Zid from Abu Zid Media, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can design a landing page using free tools inside WordPress. The tools that I will show you will enable you to design a variety of landing pages or even sales pages, opt-in pages, squeeze pages, or any type of page that of page that you want to design inside WordPress. For example, you can design this simple landing page where you can add an image for your digital product. Maybe this is an ebook or even an image or a mockup of your uh, online course you can add a, a headline and a bullet point or an icon list and of course you can change the uh, the shape of the uh, of the icon the color the size and you can add a button where you can direct people to sign up for your uh, free course or to buy your uh, digital product and of course we can't forget to add a testimonial which is called a social proof to support your landing page as i mentioned before before everything will be using during this video will be free tools so let's not um, wait any longer and start showing you how you can design this. Um, so the first step is that you need to install a plugin tool, which is the free tool they will be using to design this landing page. You can simply do this by going to your WordPress dashboard and click um, plugins and then click add new. And the plugin that we need to install is called Cadence Blocks. So let's um, write down search. Um, let's write down Cadence Blocks in this uh, search bar. And this is the plugin that we are looking for. And as you can see, it has been installed in more than 300,000 websites. So to use it, simply click Install Now and then click Activate to be able to use the plugin. And now let's create a new page and show you how you can design or how you can use the features of Cadence Blocks. So let's go to Pages and create a new page. And let me give this uh, page a title. And now let me show you how you can um, design this landing page. So once we install Cadence Blocks, there are many blocks or widgets that you will have access to. To access these blocks, you simply click the plus button and all these um, yellow uh, widgets or blocks are, um, are relevant to or has been installed uh, by the Cadence blocks. You'll find a variety of tools here. You can um, use the countdown timer and advanced gallery and advanced button uh, block and advanced text a form for the sign up form, icon list, icon Google Maps, testimonials. There is many, there are many blocks here you can use for different purposes but to have a two column layout for the first section of the landing page uh, we need to use what's called the row layout so let's click the row layout and here you can choose how many columns do you want for the first section we need to have a two column uh, section so we just click here and now we have two columns section for the landing page um, the same one like this one this is a two column section so first we need to add our image in the left side of the row. So to add an image, make sure that you choose the um, the column and either you can uh, click, uh, click this plus button or again you click this plus button and search for the advanced image block. And this is the block we're looking for. So I just drag and drop it here and I will select my image from the media library, this is the image we are looking for and they just click select. So this is the image we have. There is a free uh, or a native uh, image block inside WordPress, but I prefer to use the one that has been installed by the Cadence blocks because it gives me many uh, options. For example, I can add a box shadow. Let me show you how you can do this, uh, how you can use it. So if you would like to, you know, to um, resize or make it, make the image a smaller size, you can control the uh, image size also from here. Let's make it like this and let's make this centered from here. So this is maybe you can make it like a, a larger image. Now, this is an image. If you like to add a box shadow, you go to the style and here you will find the box shadow. Just activate it and now we can have an a box shadow. Now, we need to add a title like this, a, um, a catchy title. Let me just copy this. To add a title, again, you click the plus button and search for the advanced text and, or, or, or you know what let me show you how you can use this plus button so let's close this you just click the add block button and you search for the advanced text or you can just drag it from here you just click here and now this is the advanced text let me copy and paste i hold copy it so let me paste this is the catchy little uh, the catchy headline of the landing page to add another headline you can simply you know what Let's just click these three dots and let's click duplicate and paste this here. So now this we have two headlines for this page. To make this one smaller in the size in the right menu, you'll find under style, this is the font size. You can make it um, smaller, 
medium large or large let's close let's choose medium here and now we have our main headline and we have the sub headline what else we have we have this line this is called a spacer or a divider inside cadence blocks let's again to add a, a divider or a spacer after the headline you click the plus button the three dots sorry and you click insert after and this is a new way you can add blocks you click this plus button and search for spacer and this is the spacer or divider of cadence blocks and here again in the right part of the screen you will have many uh, options to style it maybe you need it to be ju just like a left aligned to change the divider or the spacer color you change it from here let's make it this one and now let's you know make it the width a little bit smaller and the height let's make it like 10 pixels so now we have our headline sub headline and we have our divider let's make it you know what let's make it like a um, the width let's make it 40 maybe yes 40 okay so to add this paragraph let's me copy it you again click the three dots and click insert after and you just paste it here now we have our own paragraph to make another one you just click the three dots and either you click insert after or even you can click duplicate now we have two paragraphs let's make this one shorter by maybe deleting this part and now we have our two paragraphs to add an icon list again you click the three dots and you click insert after and click add block and search for what's called an icon list icon list and here you can add your own list let me copy and paste one of the uh, text also and let me just add it here and we have our first icon list instead of you know adding and copy and pasting you can simply again click the three dots this the three dots are the magic button of Gutenberg and you click um, or of WordPress you click duplicate now we have the second one again duplicate we have the third one click duplicate we have the fourth one now we have four um, bullet points of course you can change the text to whatever you want so now if you want to change the icon itself I mean this icon you choose the icon list from this bottom um, uh, breadcrumb and here let's choose another um, icon let's choose this one and let's make the size 25 uh, you know what let's make it yeah 25 looks good so to change the icon color again under the style of the um, right side menu list you choose the icon color to be something maybe this one so now we have our catch headline the two paragraphs and the icon list to add a button below this you make sure that you choose the icon list from here and again click the three dots and let's click insert after and again click the add block and search for advanced button advanced button and this is one button let's add a uh, some text to this so this is some text for the uh, for the button if you like to make it like left aligned you click this icon and you choose just for items to the left so again if you want to add a um, if you want to change the color you go to the right side of the menu and the style here you can make a lot of changes maybe you want to change the background color you can make it from here to make it like this or even red course i like it to be dark blue and if you want to change the text color i can again you can change it from here and if you like to add a box, a box shadow from here and there are many options you can do here so if you want of course if you want to add the link to the button you click this uh, hyperlink and you can add your um, link here and just click save and you know what let's make this uh, bigger and let's click publish and see how it looks right now so this is the landing page this is the landing page so maybe you have noticed that we're still missing the um, the three items of the testimonials and also uh, we still have the header and the header and also the footer and also the page title of this landing page the header and footer and the page title are controlled by your theme um, features so it depends how you disable or enable them will depend on which theme you are using for this tutorial, I'm using the Cadence theme, which is another free, amazing tool. 
and it make it very easy to change or to disable the header and footer and the page title. To do this, you go to the page itself and click the cadence or the, uh, the cadence page settings. And here you can simply disable the page title from here and disable the header from here, the footer, and let's make this unbox it content style. And let's disable the content. Oh, let's make it just top only and click update. And let's refresh. And we are very close to design this landing page. So what we are missing now is the this section where we have a title, a divider, and also three testimonials. And it's very easy to add these to your landing page. So to add this section, again, we need to add another row. To add another row where we have like um, one column. Let me show you how you can do this. So to add the another row, you click again to the plus button and you search for row layout and you drag and drop it here. And let's make this a one column row. So first we need to add, as you can see, a headline. So let's let me copy this and let's click the plus button and search for advanced text and paste this headline. And let's make it, you know, a line center from these options. And to add a divider below the headline, you click the three dots again and you search for insert after and click the plus button and search for a spacer or divider. This is the divider and this time let's make it center aligned. It is center aligned and let's change the color to be dark red and let's make the width like 60. So now we have our headline, our divider. To add a, um, a testimonial, uh, you click the divider itself and again the three dots and you click insert after and click the plus button and search for a block called testimonials. This is the testimonial block and here you can choose which um, style or which formatting you like to have for your testimonials. Let's, let me choose this one. And this is the testimonial. Now you need to add your read content for the headline of the testimonial the paragraph and the image. Let me copy and paste the the uh, testimonial um, title. Oh, this is the testimonial. Let me add it here. And let's make enter. Okay. Let's copy uh, the testimonial here. And let's add it here again. I will show you how we can, you know, make this smaller. So for the image, let me, for the image of the person who gave the testimonial, I have only some image here that's called choose this and click select and let's change the name to be like John Dewey and let's make the title course student and now to make this um, the testimonial headline smaller um, you can do this um, in the left part of the uh, screen but again make sure you are using or you are choosing the testimonials part and under you make you make sure that you are choosing all the testimonials again let's go to under style and you know what let's change the title of the testimonial to have to access the title settings you click here and let's make this medium yes let's make it larger no let's make it medium okay so now we have the testimonial deadline uh, headline or title and the paragraph and the name and image now we need to make three parts, three, uh, we need to may have like three testimonials. To make three testimonials, make sure you under the testimonials widget itself, you make it under the general, you choose three columns. And now we have three columns. So the easiest way to create a new testimonial and to keep the same styling uh, of the original one is just to create, to click duplicate. And now we have another testimonial. Again, you click duplicate, you choose it and you click duplicate. Now we have three columns beside each other. Of course, you can change. Let me change this spelling mistake or correct this spelling mistake. Sorry about this. Of course, you can, you know, add any um, the any text or the additional text. You can change the text of the testimonial to whatever you want. Let's click update now and let's, you know, refresh the page. And now again, we have our um, title um, and image of the product itself and the divider or the spacer of course you can make it squeezer and you can remove this space here and we have the three uh testimonials if you want to add it like to make the uh, testimonial section to be a bit lower uh, of uh, in the page you simply go to the testimonials row itself this is the row and here under advanced maybe you can change the padding 
to be something like this to make it you know go down on another way is that you can go to the margin itself and you can change the margin let's add like 50 pixels to make it um, uh, lower and let's you know change the height to be like 20 of the divider and let's click update and let's refresh the page again and now we have almost the similar page of the original landing page we have like the copy and paste of the original landing page so this is how easily you can create any type of landing pages inside wordpress using free tools the cadence blocks uh, plugin gives you many other blocks a countdown timer a testimonial uh, as you have seen a um a an icon list and advanced image many other blocks that you can use to design any type of landing page so hopefully you found this video uh, useful if you like it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because i create similar videos every single day thanks so much and see you in the next video bye for now